Welcome to the 2025 Habit Tracker Tutorial, the ultimate spreadsheet for setting and staying on track of all your goals. I am super excited about this year's new and improved habit tracker for a lot of different reasons. First, I made the tracker more automated by creating a setup tab for you to organize all of your goals in one place. All of your goals you enter here will automatically populate throughout the tracker, so you don't have to enter the same habits and goals every single month. I also added more monthly insights to the monthly tabs, and for the Excel users, the checkboxes are finally available in Excel, so no more marking off your goals with X's. When you first open the file, you'll be on the Read Me First tab, which is your go-to guide for getting started. This tab contains instructions on how to download the tracker, important notes, and a detailed breakdown of how to use each tab with screenshots. A few important things to note. When filling out this tracker, only edit the white cells. If a cell is colored, it indicates that it will automatically pull in data from another tab. Second, if you're using Google Sheets, you will have to make a copy of the file to your personal drive before you can edit it by opening the file menu and selecting Make a Copy. Once you've made a copy, you're ready to move on to the Setup tab. The Setup tab is a new addition to the 2025 Habit Tracker that allows you to set all of your daily habits, monthly goals, and annual goals in one place. Start off by entering your daily habit goals in the Daily Habits column. Once you've set your daily habits, go ahead and set your monthly goals broken down by month in the monthly goals section. And lastly, set your annual goals broken down by category in the annual goals section. If any of these categories don't fit your needs, you can easily replace them by selecting the category you want to change and entering a new one. The next tab is the calendar tab, which allows you to track important dates and deadlines related to your goals. All you have to do is enter the dates in the important dates table, and the dates will automatically be highlighted green in the calendar. For example, let's say I have a goal of passing an actual exam this year, and the exam is on March 12th. To track this date, I would enter March 12th in the date column, label the date actual exam in the notes column, and now March 12th is highlighted green in our calendar. If you need additional space for dates, you can unhide rows 38 through 201 to extend the table. The following tab is the Annual Goals tab, which allows you to track all of the yearly goals you set in the Setup tab. Once you complete a goal, just check the checkbox next to it and watch the progress chart automatically update. This tab also features a Goal Summary dashboard to the right, containing progress bars showing the percentage of goals completed by category, and a pie chart illustrating the distribution of your goals across categories. Next up, the monthly tabs. Each month has its own dedicated tab for tracking daily, weekly, and monthly goals. The daily habits you entered in the setup tab will automatically populate here, so all you have to do is check off habits as you complete them. This updates several built-in charts, including a daily progress column chart, a weekly progress bar, and a monthly donut chart, which visualizes your habit completion percentages for each day, week, and month respectively. The monthly line chart at the top will also automatically update to visualize the number of habits completed each day. If you don't see all of your habits listed here, just unhide rows 20 through 30 to extend the table. One important thing to note, if you want to track daily habits that only apply to specific months, you can add them directly to the corresponding months tab instead of the setup tab. For example, let's say I'm completing dry January and want to add no alcohol as a daily habit in January, but not in any of the other months. All I would have to do is go to the January tab and enter no alcohol at the bottom of the daily habits list, and that's it. Below the daily habits section, you can track your monthly goals by checking them off as you complete them, and the monthly progress bar will automatically update. Last but not least, you can enter and track any week-specific goals using the week tables and progress bars. Each monthly tab includes insights to help you understand performance, such as your top five completed habits, your longest streak of the month, and your current longest running streak. The important dates table automatically pulls in important dates for the month that you entered on the calendar tab, and the last table allows you to record any important notes or reflections you have for the month. Finally, if you scroll down to the bottom of the tab, you'll find detailed stats on your daily, weekly, and monthly progress. Last but not least, we have the Dashboard tab, which summarizes your annual goals, monthly goals, weekly goals, and daily habits in one place. This tab automatically updates as you fill out the tracker, so you do not need to edit anything on this tab. 
The 2025 goals completed table lists the annual goals you've completed, while the 2025 daily habits summary table breaks down daily habits completed by month. The middle dashboard visualizes the percentage of daily habits completed on the top and the number of monthly goals completed on the bottom. In the top right, you can drill down into a specific month's goals using the monthly and weekly goal summary tables. For example, to see how many monthly and weekly goals I completed in February, all I would have to do is select February in each dropdown, and now I can view all of February's goals. Finally, the top tier months table calculates which month you completed the most habits and which month you completed the most goals.